A pregnant 15-year-old from Arkansas experienced irregular bleeding one night. Her mother called an ambulance, but their local hospital no longer offered maternity services, and the next nearest hospital had also recently closed its delivery center. What should have been a five-minute ambulance ride turned into a 30-minute one that put the teenager and her baby at serious risk. Thankfully, she did eventually make it to a hospital and was stabilized, but this kind of situation is a huge factor in why Arkansas has one of the highest maternal mortality rates in the country. Ironically, Arkansas brags about being the most pro-life state in the country, and yet it has so many pregnancy-related deaths. In addition to having a near-total abortion ban, it's factors like living in a healthcare desert, poor healthcare coverage, and availability slash quality of specialized care that can really make the difference. A recent review found that 92% of maternal deaths in Arkansas were entirely preventable. Meanwhile, Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders declined to extend Medicaid postpartum coverage from 60 days to a year, which could have seriously improved maternal health outcomes. And it's not just Arkansas either. Studies show that people giving birth in states with abortion bans are nearly three times more likely to die, and infants in these states face a 30% higher mortality risk. It just feels like so many politicians are more focused on enacting restrictions on people's bodies in the name of life than implementing critical healthcare reforms that could save lives.